Are you going to receive an inheritance? Or do you know someone who will be leaving an inheritance? We've been seeing mistakes in the handling and titling of assets, not on purpose, but because people believe that they're handling things properly. Here are three of the most common mistakes that we have seen. One, adding a child on a joint account or title to a house instead of being a beneficiary. Currently, there's a step up in basis on appreciated assets upon death of an owner. Not only do you lose the tax step up, which results in paying more income taxes than you have to, but it also opens the door for gift tax ramifications. Two, not properly funding a trust. Probate starts at $100,000 in the state of Arizona. I can't tell you how many people we've seen that have a trust with assets that are held outside of the trust that now trigger probate, which was the whole point of the trust in the first place was to avoid it. It's imperative to have a process to review titling as time goes on and situations change. Three, not discussing with multiple beneficiaries who the successor, trustee, or executor will be. This is also an issue when it comes to the naming of a medical or durable power of attorney. Not having a discussion can lead to conflict amongst beneficiaries, most commonly family members, which no one wants to have. With proper planning and the right conversations, these situations can all be avoided. Fortunately for our clients at WealthNest, our proprietary Nestology process addresses these issues on an ongoing basis. As always, we are here for you as a resource. We'll see you next time. Thank you.